This video is going to show you how to use the PowerCLI tag commandlets to import information from a CMDB into your tags and automatically create the categories and tags and assign them for you. So let's start off in the vSphere web client and we'll look at our host here and you can see that we have no existing tags assigned to this host. We'll bring up our spreadsheet and you can see in our spreadsheet we have a name column and under there we have the name of the object that we're going to tag and this can be a VM or a host or a data store or any entry. And then we have some other entries in there like the project, the cost center and the owner. And we could have more and more in here. The script will actually just take those and apply those. So if we take a look at the script, what we're doing is we're connecting to our virtual infrastructure and then we're reading that information from the CSV straight into our session. Remember, this could be also read from a uh, API or a database or anything that works with PowerCLI or PowerShell. So you can see now we have the information in our variable. What we're going to do is we're going to use that information and start applying it to our tags and tag categories. So the first thing we're going to do is get the header names and then for each of those we're going to create a tag category and then we're going to take the tags that are under those and assign it to the various objects whether they're VMs, hosts, data stores or whatever's listed in there. So let's click play and watch this go. You can see it's going through and it's creating the categories based on the names that we had in the spreadsheet. It's creating the tags under there, and then it's actually assigning those tags to the different objects. Now this has been complete, we'll go back to the web client. We'll do a quick refresh. And you can see that we've actually got the owner in there. We've got the project and the cost center as a category and the different information in them, not only for our hosts, but also for our virtual machines. Hopefully this shows you how PowerCLI can manipulate tags in a very powerful and automated way.